Hi, it's Day, and I want to formally introduce myself now that I've been releasing videos since the beginning of this year. Uh, my name is Day. I like to draw and I like anime, so you will see a lot of that in my channel. And I set myself up this year to draw every single day um, for 2024. So far, I have successfully done it, and it's been about a week. It's been... What day is it today? Not sure. Been about a week, a little bit more. So, we're right on track, and I've already built a buffer as well. And hopefully, we can build a bigger buffer, just in case I have stuff to do. So, if I do have to skip a day... We won't fall behind and this is the week update you'll see some of the videos kind of playing out in the side there in the beginning quality was not that good in terms of drawing also not that good <laughs> I was not used to drawing on camera and I was just having fun it was just like hey why not start this at first it wasn't even a challenge I was just like let's draw and upload it because why not but um as i moved forward i was like hey i can commit to drawing every single day and uploading every single day and seeing how i improve over time because there's no way anything would start without me starting it and as you can see as i progress i kind of figure out lighting and editing a little bit more and I start figuring out like what looks good um, style wise I it's hard to decide because I could either draw in my own style which is very cutesy soft and girly but it won't attract as much attention or I could stay true to the artist style and take and learn from it so I chose the latter and I think it was the best decision for me who is still improving a lot instead of just ruminating on the same techniques I usually do which is my style I can pick up from other artists especially artists that I personally admire and you know incorporate them into my own art and surprise surprise I did learn <laughs> it's been so long since I've done an art study so simply just doing fan art and like drawing straight from what I see from the original artist, I learned so much. So first thing, if you noticed, I draw a lot of JJK because it is my recent obsession. I just finished watching season two and I also didn't watch season one when it was simulcast. So I binged everything from season one to season two and it was really good. And then I binged the manga, and it was really good. <laughs> and on top of that, I really like the art style of the manga. The anime art is also beautiful, but the manga had a lot of line work that I personally liked of how it was done. So I drew a lot, um, took a lot from the manga, and surprisingly, I actually improved in drawing hands when I was trying to draw from Gege Akutami's art style. I don't know, the way he draws hands is so loose and just rectangular that it just made sense. And it clicked, something in my mind clicked and I took it for myself too. And I tested it out, the new technique that I learned from Gege, kind of breaking down hands in these rectangular shapes and actually adding the details like the the folds of your hands, the lines in your hands, the nails. I also took that from Gege because I never added that before. Usually my hands look very smooth and slim. Very fitting of like shoujo manga kind of style, right? So Gege is like shonen, edgy art. Um, very opposite of what I'm used to. So I took it for myself and I applied it and I, I did a bunch of hand um, practice. And it was so much easier. I don't know what happened. Something clicked in my brain. It really was like a click. Because it's not like 
oh, I can teach you too. I don't know the science behind it, but I can draw hands now. You'll see later on um, in my, not this week, this week I'm still in the improving stage. You really won't see the improvement much, but next week update, you'll see the hand improvements. I, I've been making my own hand poses um, and actually making them look like their hands. <laughs> It doesn't look like, oh yeah, she made that pose up or something like that. Um, and I think I'm gonna commit to draw, keeping drawing my hands in the way that I learned from him. Because it just looks good. And who knows, maybe I'll take from another technique from another uh, artist later on and merge the two and make my own stuff. Kind of thing. But for now, Gege's technique, I've adopted it. Really good, really like it. Another thing that I like from Gege, which I already have in my own line work, is the messy line art. I think I already had it because it's what I prefer, but I think for a really long time, I struggled with um, keeping line art clean or not because I admire both styles and I just see less of the messy line work and more of the clean one. Obviously, that's the standard. But seeing Gege's art style kind of evolve from the beginning volumes to the later volumes of being more sketchy, but because of that became more expressive and dynamic and very... very cool. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I was like, oh, I can incorporate that and make my drawing not look as stale and not look as neat. Again, coming from a background of taking inspiration from mainly shoujo manga, it makes sense. But after incorporating that messiness, um, I think it loosened up my wrist and uh, created for more expressive drawings. I'm actually practicing like expressions now too, because also another thing I struggle with, but you know, he has very intense moments and scenes that I, I personally like drawing. Yeah, so. Taking that line art helped me make more expressive drawings, and hopefully in the future, it just naturally incorporates itself into my own art as well. Another artist that I studied, also another series that I like, is Horikoshi's art from the artist Magaka of My Hero Academia. And I don't know how to explain it, but his art is so detailed. Everything is so purposeful. It's kind of like a new monster to me. Like, it's so f far away from Gege's art. Because I'm like, I don't know what to take away from, from his art that I can incorporate into my own already. And really for him, I want to learn the detail. I want to learn the line work. I want to learn... Just the purposeful art, basically. Like, I don't know. So far, that's kind of what I'm taking away from him. Every single piece I've done from Horikoshi could be a simple panel. It could just be Bakugo, like, pointing at himself. It could be Midoriya looking at, I don't know, crying. But every single line from the pupil, from the tears, from the shadows, from the hair detail, is just purposeful and does something to the person looking at the piece and I think that's so cool and amazing and also there's something about his character design that is so specific to his characters and I think that's probably his biggest strength character design it's no it's no secret like we, we see from the anime how unique each character is even the background characters even your NPC characters he has such unique designs everything is purposeful and that's probably the one thing I want to take away from him. And I won't be able to put that into practice really until I make my own original art inspired by Horikoshi. And I think that's the amazing thing about the fandom art for, for My Hero Academia fans. They're so unique. And they're so creative and purposeful. And we know why. Because they take inspiration from Horikoshi that has unique and purposeful art in that way. So for now, all I'm really taking from him is purposeful line strokes and line weight um, to invoke an emotion, but not yet on the character design side. We'll see later if I start 
expanding and drawing my own original art with Horikoshi style and more style studies. We'll see. We have 365 days in a year and it's only been seven days. I'm already taking out this much from my experience. So yeah, those two artists are kind of what I'm studying right now. I want to expand more and study other manga artists. I think next in line will probably be Isayama. I think that's how you say his name. Attack and Titan, see what I can see, what I can take from him. With his art, I think it's very similar to my current art. So we'll see how it goes. And but I haven't I haven't gotten there yet. So we'll get there. So um, yeah, so far that is week one update of my drawing challenge. It's not really a challenge. It's probably a drawing habit builder. I want to build it into my life, basically. I want to draw every day, having taken a break for such a long time, and see where it takes my art. And I hope you guys stick with me and see where that goes. And once again, this is Day. Thank you. And keep on dreaming, peeps. Bye!